Okay, so you talk about the, uh, I think the, the, the uh, Sino-Canada relationship is also a hot topic uh, mm -hmm. in Canada. Uh, um, we heard that uh, the legislative uh, uh, delegation is now in, in China. Mm -hmm. Do you have any uh, new updates to everybody? Well, they're working hard um, in China. Of course, uh, you know, I have said this uh, publicly, as has the Prime Minister and, and, uh, and the government, that our priority is for our Canadians who are in China today, and we need to work very, very hard um, on their release. But I've also said that uh, the relationship between Canada and China has one that has um, that has been a long one, and we are in a difficult period. But we need to work together, and we will continue. We will continue to work very hard um, on the release of the Canadians, but also on a relationship that we consider to be important, and we're going to keep working hard. Mm -hmm. So yesterday, uh, uh, the ambassador of China, uh, Mr. Lu Sha Ye, mm -hmm. was in uh, Globe and the Mail and participated in a, uh, a forum, and uh, during the speech, uh, Mr. Lu Sha Ye said, if uh, Ms. Meng Wanzhou uh, is not released and the relationship between Canada and China will not be uh, becoming uh, better as usual. So uh, what do you think about that? Well, I think that the ambassador knows and I think we have been clear that, um, you know, Canada is a system that is governed by a, um, you know, a rule of law. And uh, we know that in, uh, you know, in the situation of, uh, you know, Madame Meng, that she is going through due process. And, uh, and I think that we need to let our independent um, system of law and the independent court system work its way through. And she will get, uh, you know, and she will go through that in a, um, you know, in a process that is not going to, that's not going to be interfered by, um, you know, by, by politics. It needs, our independent judicial system has to, has to, has to work. But our relationship with China is also a, uh, you know, it's a multifaceted one. And, um, and is one where, where, as I said, we've had a longstanding relationship and we are going to have to continue um, we're going to have to continue working hard um, at this. I believe that, uh, I do believe that both countries um, value the relationship, they value the history, but it is going to take hard work. Mm -hmm. So uh, we heard that uh, Andrew Scheer already uh, said that uh, China is uh, one of the biggest threats um, uh, of uh, Canada. So. He said China is a is a threat. Do, do you think China is a threat uh, to Canada? No, I don't think China is a threat to Canada. China is our second largest trading partner. China and Canada have been friends for many years. We have strong people-to-people -people ties. This is what I mean about a foreign policy that is reckless. You can't, as a leader, decide that you're just not going to entertain discussions with another nation. Um, you need to look out for Canadians, and the way to look out for Canadians is to continue to have the discussions, even when those discussions are difficult. Mm -hmm.